Hello guys, so did you buy an SSD on AliExpress? The King's Pack? This one? And is your Windows having trouble recognizing it? It's like you, you open the my computer and it's not here. Can't find it. I'm gonna show you guys what I did to make it work. Basically, you open the BIOS of the computer and make sure you can find your SSD here on the BIOS because if you can't, it's not, your computer is not recognizing it. Like you can see, mine is the P3 512. 512 is the amount of storage I bought. So 512 gigabytes. But it's not recognized on, on here. Uh, now, now it is, you know, it's this one. It's normal to have less space than what you bought. Okay, it's always gonna be like that. Um, basically, what you're gonna have to do Oh, actually, before I tell you what I did, make sure you press, uh, you right click on the windows here and you go on disk management. If you can find your SSD here and it has a, and it has a black line, like this one is like a, a dark blue. If you find a black one, you just click on, you just right click on it and you click new. And then you're going to allocate a partition in your windows. So this is the easiest way. But if your computer doesn't recognize it, it doesn't show here, but you can only see it on the BIOS, like mine, look, right here. I can see, but my computer wasn't recognizing it. What you have to do, look, I, I sent a message to, to the seller. I'll leave a link in the description to the seller because it helped, it helped me and now it's working. Uh, she said a, b a bunch of things and, and then she said something about Disk Genius and I'll leave this link to the description you just click free download you you download the file and you're gonna have this file right here so you just click yes you have English and Japanese English of course be sure to not install this in the partition you are going to use it's not going to be a problem for us because the windows is not recognizing it so you cannot actually install it there but if if you want to you know restore files from the d the f something like that always make sure to install on c if you want to do something on c make sure to install it on d i'll just install it here click next wait a little bit i don't need to open the website finish Okay, so yours will be something like this, P3, 240, 480, uh, 120 gigabytes, something like that. And what you're going to have to do, you're going to click on the one you just bought, you know, it's going to be here. You right click it, you click erase sectors. And then you just leave it like this. Make sure it's on shutdown, like prevent system from sleeping during execu execution. And then it, you just click erase. I'm, I'm not gonna click on it because I don't need it. It's already working. But after like one, two hours, it's, it's gonna be complete. And then you just click, right click on the windows here and disk management. And now it's actually going to be, you're gonna find it here as a, a black tag, you know, and then you click right click new it's not showing here but because it's already you are you can already see the letters like f d c it's not there's not going to be any letter you're just going to give a, a letter to it and then your windows will be able to recognize it okay so that's pretty much what i did i already installed windows on it and every other software i needed it's working fine it's Awesome, it's a lot cheaper than the ones I could get in my country and it's, it works fine. It's pretty good. I'll, I'll make some other videos uh, doing some other tests, okay? But yeah, so that's it guys. So if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.